Daddy, what happened? All right, Thelma. I'm about to give you the latest episode in the continuing series called Broken Promises, starring Florida Evans. <laughs> we got ready to go to the wedding. She said, James, wait here by the elevator while I go in and tell Walona to look in on the kids. So I waited. Meanwhile, Dwayne is downstairs waiting. So who comes walking out of the house all dressed up and ready to go to the wedding with your mother? Walona. Oh, my, you got Walona to go. How'd you do it? Well, I promised I wouldn't let nobody at the wedding keep hassling about getting a man. Yeah, and that's one promise she kept. Well, couldn't nobody get close to Walona because your mother was doing all the hassling. <laughs> and then when we got to the wedding, she found out Walona was sitting with us at table three and Dwayne was sitting way down at table eight. Well, Thelma, your mother got downright hysterical. Boy, she must have moved everybody in that building around until she finally got Walona and Dwayne sitting next to each other. <laughs> James, you know you're exaggerating. I only asked one couple to move. Yeah, baby, but the bride and groom? Oh. <laughs> hey, baby, you know I'm on the teaser. But then all through dinner, she kept yakking in Dwayne's ear, talking about Dwayne, ain't Walona beautiful? Dwayne, ain't Walona cute? Dwayne, ain't Walona charming? Boy, the way she was hitting at the man, you thought he was a gold line and she was Mercury Mars. <laughs> oh, James, it wasn't that obvious. Yeah, it was, too. You know, I told you, Floyd, this matchmaking is dangerous business. Now, you throw two people together, you'll never know what's gonna happen. Mostly trouble. Oh, I don't know about that, James. When my Uncle Harry and my Aunt Charlotte got married, that was arranged. Huh? He must have been happy. They had 12 children. <laughs> Maybe he's trying to lose your Aunt Charlotte in the crowd. But you didn't say what happened with Alona and Dwayne. Did they dig each other? Are you kidding? Your mother come on so strong, Dwayne got up in the middle of the den, excused himself, and got the hell out of there. James, now you know he left because he wasn't feeling well. Oh, now, baby, that was just a polite way of saying all that talk was driving him crazy. Then a half hour later, Walona left. Her excuse was a splitting headache. But you know why she left. All right, so I messed up, I admit it. But I was only trying to get two nice people together. I didn't mean no harm. Oh, I know that, baby. I hope you learn your lesson, too. See, buttoning in other people's business, it can't cause nothing but trouble. Hi, y'all. Hi, folks. <laughs> We had to go out for the afternoon, so we thought we'd stop by and say hello. Hey, Dwayne, you didn't tell me where are we going. Well, I thought we'd take a drive. I know a nice place to have lunch down by the shore. You're gonna like it. I'm sure I will if it's half as nice as the place we went to last night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You two were together last night? Oh, yeah. After the wedding, we went for a little late dinner. <laughs> but I don't understand. Wait, you said you weren't feeling well, and Walona, you said you had a headache. Florida, th the minute I saw Walona, I dug her. Mm. I tried to talk to her, but I didn't have a chance. <laughs> but you were sitting right next to each other. Yeah, I know, but no hard feelings, Florida. But you were talking so much, that I, I didn't have a chance to get a word in that <laughs> <laughs> like each other. We are together like white on rice. Oh, <laughs> well, James, what were you saying about making trouble? Uh, no, you misunderstood me, baby. <laughs> what I said was, the minute they saw each other, I knew they was gonna hit it off. <laughs> but, Dad, you said... <laughs> That's what you said. You, you did say that. 